I'm Steve Henry and this is High Sierra 2023. <laughs> okay. Kind of a nice refreshing way to start a day. Wanna do a stole drag practice? Sure. <laughs> Yellow Hollander is gonna do a practice stole drag run on lane two. All right, ready? Run three, we're good there. Yeah. <laughs> that was super cool. We just flew to Outlook and then did a stole drag practice run. It was so fun. We were taking off and it just like threw me back in the seat and then, it, I don't know, like before I knew it, there we were. What a fun way to start the day. Yeah, coffee and a really fun flight. Thanks, Dad. Yep, you're welcome. Are you happy? Yeah. Aww. Oh, Lewis, are you happy? <laughs> If you like our videos, it really does help us out if you give us a thumbs up and subscribe. We also have a Patreon channel if you'd want to support us any through that. And it's, it's more of the build side of things. So if you're building a Highlander, it can be really helpful on there. We've got some good videos to help out with that. And then we also are on Instagram at Wild West Steve. Well, obviously this is Yeehaw 8, our latest Highlander. When, when I built this airplane, I started out thinking that I was just gonna be a competition airplane and in no time I thought, no, I can't do it. It's gotta be my everyday airplane. Yeah, I want it to be competitive, but it's gotta be my everyday plane. So it is, but one thing I did different on this, thinking about stole drag, is I built some spoilers in the wings. You ready? There's the spoilers out, back in. I just have a handle here to deploy them so when I'm doing a stole drag run when I get to where I'm going to start slowing down I pull the throttle and pop out the spoilers and then get my hand on the flap lever and just start pulling 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 until I'm full of flaps too but while I'm doing that when I when I pull the spoilers and chop the throttle I'm also that's when I'm putting it in the slip too so I'll carry the slip as long as I need or you know almost to the line a lot of times and then when I actually land, I want to drop, dump the flaps. I don't do anything with the spoilers until I'm on the ground. If, if, I, if I pull them when I'm still in the air, it really changes the attitude. The plane will speed up, which I don't really want. So anyway, 
I, then I gotta remember to take them things off before I take off. It will, it will take off and fly with them out, but it's slower, of course. So, and uh, I have forgotten that. It just annoys the heck out of me when I do. Yeah, early on in the, when I just got this thing built and you know, wanted to test out the spoilers, a, a friend of mine, Del Collar, who's a really good aerobatic pilot, went with me and we went up high and, and checked out the spoilers with slip in. And, One. Yeah, I'd say like if we got to a thousand feet and the airplane wasn't in control for some reason. Seat belts, jump out, both thumbs through here, pull it away from you. That's the D-ring. And it opens and you're just along for the ride. Well, it's my first time wearing a parachute. Yeah. <laughs> I sure hope I don't need to use it. <laughs> Tampa traffic, this is 818. Oh, Tell that slow down. Yeah, oh yeah. Remember last time we went zinging past here? Yep. And that was almost more effective than the slip. Isn't it amazing how well they Oh yeah, no, it, it, it was more effective than the, than the slip almost. Oh, it's way and, more. And it's more controllable too, because you're you're not having to do all this other stuff. Yeah. Just fly the air bed, no, that, that, Yeah. That, that's very cool. It, 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 I mean, it's way more effective than yep. the slip. Right, right. But I want to I want to be able to do them both together. Yeah, why not? Yeah, yeah. I didn't feel anything unusual there. No, I wasn't slipping real hard. Yeah. Let's, let's do a couple more. We'll just do a little more slip each run. Yeah. And, if it, and we'll feel if it's starting to want to roll off. Okay. And we'll, just, we'll stop there. Um, and if it, if it keeps behaving, the more and more slip you put in. Yeah, all good. It, it is slowing down quicker, I think. Do full slip this time. Yeah, that's a, almost two seconds quicker. Really? Yeah. How'd it go? Awesome. Couldn't, All right. couldn't be better. Nice. It's rowdy. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to overpowered airplanes, and I'd say this is one of those. <laughs> yes, just your yeah. type. <laughs> yep. It is. I love it. I like it even more than I did yesterday. Oh, good. <laughs> And I really liked it yesterday. Everything was just fine. But yeah, I was I was a little nervous about that actually. Well I'm hanging out here at the High Sierra Flight in 2023 with my new friend Lucas. Hey. That, that, that wild and crazy Red Bull pilot that landed up there on that Dubai little spot right. up in the sky. I've had lots of people say, oh Steve, you could have done that easy. I'm like, no, I couldn't. If I'd have been scared, he did it. I was scared as well. <laughs> well. I'd have been too scared to do it. You did it. Yeah, so. it was quite challenging. You know, having no depth perception, having this big gap 600 feet below you, oh. and no reference whether you're steep or shallow. I think that was what got me. You know, yeah. the, the first time. Yeah. That's what I'm telling these guys. It's like, no, that's that's, that's not as easy as a 75 foot patch you have out in the ground. You know, sure I can land in a 75 foot patch and take off, but. Not way up in the sky. I just, I'd have been too scared. Uh, absolutely. I'm glad you say it because I had a lot of comments like this that, you know, I could have done it. And I always reply to people, you know, it's there. Yeah. <laughs> it's there. Go and do it. You know, yeah. it took us two years of preparation, modifying the aircraft, training a lot. And uh, yeah, definitely one of the most difficult things I ever did with the aircraft. And I did a lot of crazy stuff. Oh, I believe it. Well, it's really good to meet you. Yeah. I, I am. Nice meeting you as well, and great to be here at High Sierra. Yeah, you're, you're a good addition. We're glad you're here. Thanks for having me. You bet.
are, of course, Wild West Aircraft, and our main purpose really is to sell these kits to people so everybody else can have just as cool an airplane as what I have. I'd like to give a big thank you for all of these, these sponsors that help us out. And all these things are really good. I wouldn't use them if they weren't. Several of these we're dealers for, you can get through us at wildwestaircraft.com. Yeah. See, I swear to God, I don't plan anything. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Trying to find the right one that nice Oh yeah. That's awesome. That'll work. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> no way! No, I can't believe it. Today's race day here at High Sierra, and it's been a really a cool morning because we had this eclipse right, right during the pilot meeting, so everybody was there. And Brenda's friend Dee brought a bunch of these little glasses so you can look at it. So there were plenty of them to watch it through. It, it was it was cool. The eclipses are a little bit weird. One thing that was weird is bugs just collected all over the top of my yellow airplane. They're not on the blue, but boy, they're all over the yellow weird out right now it's really cool when we were at reno had a, a gearbox problem so right now we're kind of turned down on our horsepower what's going on hey <laughs> we're changing out a gearbox but anyhow we got it all back together and we're ready to go tomorrow yeah it's good to go one thing that's really cool though that i'm really finding now it isn't all about the power it's really not i mean even with it with it turned down it is almost as fast because I can stay on the throttle longer. I find it's a little bit easier to predict where to pull the power doing it this way. This is the first time I've ever run my slats in a stole drag. I always just figured, why would I want slats in a stole drag? Because I'm not about landing slow. It's just about making everything happen as quickly as you can. But I think the airplane kind of does slow down a little bit better when I'm wanting to slow down. Well, this here's the traveling trophy for High Sierra for winning the whole the whole shoot match and uh, my name's on there twice we're hoping to get it on there a third time and take it home for another year the belt is another thing uh, that's kind of a goofy one but that's part of it I think that's just because Kevin Quinn has a sense of humor Front of us. So the rules are you get him lined up here on the start line. Kevin Quinn, who's been the instigator of this whole concept, he will launch the aircraft off of the line with a 3 2 1 C up. The aircraft got to fly down to the other end. They can't taxi down there. <laughs> They've got to get off the ground. And then they're going to chop the power and land and touch down on the line 2,000 feet down the course. They gotta land on or beyond that line, come to a complete stop with the tail wheels down, spin that aircraft around and race back as fast as they can to this start finish line located right here at the base of the tower. 
again land on or beyond that line and the first aircraft that comes to a complete stop with his tail down wins the drag race. This is JP's first Soul Drag event, which is so cool. He entered and he's doing it. He's the one that flew around the world. Check out his YouTube channel. Super cool guy. He's borrowing my dad's headset helmet, actually, because I don't think he normally flies with the helmet, although he might after this. So yeah, here he goes. Coming out, JP. <laughs> Great job, you guys. Yeah, well Great done. job. Well done. Well done. Nice nice to race job, you too. Well done.
no tricks now, son. Check it out, right through, baby. So you're kind of wondering what I'm doing for dinner tonight? Yeah, what are you doing for dinner? Sardines. <laughs> Can you believe that? No. As picky as I am. The pickiest eater I know. I know. But I've had a couple cans of them and, you know, I'm still alive. They actually <laughs> tasted pretty good. <laughs> Brent, I can't believe it. Brent and I are having mountain houses for dinner. <laughs> good. And curry. All right. Well, I'm gonna sardines. Live in I'm, large. I'm gonna, I yeah. built a fire, so I'm going to go sit by the fire and eat my sardines. Okay. <laughs>